Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Teen Gen Talks, where the goal is to empower the youth of Glendale, connect youth to community resources, individuals, and organizations. I'm your host, Melissa. And I'm Desiree, and today we are going to be decorating the library for Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, but first, we are going to be making some marigolds. So we have pipe cleaners, tissue paper, and some string too, um, and scissors. Um, but yeah, watch along um, as we decorate the library. Okay. So, you get your tissue paper, usually um, for the Day of the Dead um, in Mexico, they use like the orange tissue paper for marigolds, um, but all over Latin America, Day of the Dead is celebrated differently, um, but um, Day of the Dead is November, but we're going to incorporate that part of the Hispanic culture into our decoration, so we're gonna be doing the marigolds. Um, so yeah, so you grab your tissue paper. I I grab like four pieces or three, and then you fold them in fourths. And then once you have them already folded in fourths, you're gonna cut them, cut out each of the squares. It doesn't need to be like too exact. Yeah, the cuts don't need to be perfect because, yeah, you can't really tell. So after you're done cutting, like, um, you could group them all together and make one, but out of these, I'm gonna do two. So one flower and another flower. How many should we do? I don't really count. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I think you could probably, if you wanted, separate it more. But I think that's good. Okay. Like for like two flowers. Okay. Okay. Maybe or maybe actually this one you could separate. Let me take another one because that looks a lot. Like, a like lot. should I do like like half of that? You know. I guess it also depends how fluffy you want to make them too. You know? <laughs> um, so once you get to this part, you're gonna start like folding them like accordion stuff, like like an accordion style. Um, front and back. So. So then you're gonna have them like this. Um, this is the part where you could do either or. So you could grab a pipe cleaner, pipe, is that what it's called? Pipe cleaner, um, and then tie it around this and then like just twist it, um, like so. Yeah, I'm just um, so, so if you don't have pipe cleaners, you could take, um, I guess, any string rope, whatever, and do basically the same thing. You're gonna tie it around um, and make sure it's tight. You could cut off a little bit of the excess so it's not too long. Um, okay. Once you're once you have it tied up, you're gonna round off the edges of each side. So kind of making them be like petals. So like, yeah. I remember I did this wrong last time. Honestly, you know, I cut them off round, but like I guess you could make any design like that, that you want. You know? Yeah. Then you have them like this. And they're gonna be probably different sizes depending like the size of your tissue paper as well. Um, and then this is when you start separating the like each layers of the flower and creating the the flower. It's like my favorite part. I know this is, I like this part too. Like setting it up is not as. I'm gonna try the string next. Just to... Yeah. I, I kind of prefer the string, personally. 
but again this might just be better for you yeah i think it's also better like if you're gonna like yeah like put them somewhere like decoration yeah. and I like this one too. I like the <gasps> tiny one. See, I like the tiny. Yeah, I like the tiny. Sure, what the pressure? But I think we need a we need the big ones to keep yeah more space. You know? I was fine. I was like, should I you talk? can, you can. But probably. then I feel like it. But like you would but say, I like. Good. See, I like them like that too. Okay. And yeah. also, like you could mix and match colors. Like we also have like yellow here, so I could do like two orange and two yellow, and like make it on <laughs> different colors if I wanted to. Um, it really. I'll, like honestly, it depends what your, your preference. preference. Yeah, your preference. They're so pretty. But yeah, these are the little flowers. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing, and then we'll show you how we're gonna decorate the library in a couple of the next clips. <laughs> so much for watching this week's episode um, as we decorated the library for Hispanic Heritage Month. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at LAC. And also make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel at Glendale Library Arts and Culture and follow us wherever you get your podcast from at Teen Gen Talks. See you next time. Bye! Bye.